Good afternoon, everybody. I am so grateful and honored to see such a crowd of young faces out here. I really am. Um, I applaud y'all. I'm glad that you know to share this uh, event with y'all. And remember, this isn't we ain't call y'all out here just for one day. We call you out here because we want to put an end to these murdering cops who kill us with impunity every single day, and it's always a cover-up. I'm telling you from my experience because I have made many pleas and I've sent uh, many letters to a lot of these elected officials, including the mayor and the governor. Just uh, on that tip also, the governor, who we also had a, a, a meeting, we, we were promised a meeting, some of the parents from New York were promised a meeting with the governor. He canceled both meetings, both meetings. I no longer make pleas to those elected officials at all because it always goes with false promises that never materialize. I have evidence that shows that the officer murdered Nicholas Jr. as he was playing with his friends. But the district attorney refused to reopen the case. But for the last 20 years, I've been fighting to get this case reopened, and I'm going to continue to fight to get this case reopened. Let me say this also, I have been rallying and protesting with many of the parents. A lot of them are standing here behind me. They have innocent children that were murdered in New York City. Murder, I use the word murder because that's what it is. Whenever you have an innocent human being who isn't committing any crimes, isn't doing no threat to the officer or any other human being, and you shoot him, that's murder. Shoot back. You are shooting and killing unarmed innocent people. Shoot back. No, no, don't the, shoot the, back. the book Stolen Live documents over 2,000 cases of innocent lives that have been stolen. And there haven't been any justice in not one single case. Not a single case. And that's something that pains me a lot. It pains me toward the fact that if this doesn't stop, then that means that the young youth behind, coming up behind us is going to have to fight the same fight, the same struggles that we have been fighting. And remember also, that what we're doing right now, our ancestors already fought and died for this. We shouldn't be out here today. We should not be out here. Our ancestors already fought and died for the things that we're fighting for right now. We need... We need to put an end to this, and it's going to take us to do it. Remember that. You count. Black lives count. All human lives count. We need to organize ourselves together to put an end to this. Remember that. Please remember that. Your life counts. Your voice counts. Thank you.